Hello friends, let's have an analysis of the actual NMED paper with special reference to quant and reasoning. Now first of all, let's talk about the quant section which has appeared over the last 2-3 years of the actual NMED papers. The quant section if you talk, it is more of a speed test and less of a knowledge test because uh, the time which is given uh, to the section is around 60 minutes for a total of 48 questions. So you can say roughly this is close to one question per minute. And the students, the level of the questions which have appeared over the years has been uh, mid middle or medium to difficult level. And the questions which have appeared repeatedly are uh, mixture and allegation, number system questions. There have been questions on Venn diagram, ratio proportion, data sufficiency, data interpretation, and finally some algebra questions with specific reference to progressions. The students now will have a look to the few of actual quant questions of the last two three years. In between I'll solve a few questions for you and few questions are left for your reference. Just have a look. This is the first question students. Reading this I think you can very well read Gita and Sita ratio is given and the ratio of their incomes is given if Sita's salary is also included and at the end of the year they earned a profit of rupees 72,000. The students we know finally 72,000 rupees they got in the ratio of 1 is to 2. So if I break 72,000 in this particular ratio we get 24,000 and 48,000. The students just read here carefully that Sita's salary has been included in this. So that means the share of Gita remains constant. Now initially without salary they were supposed to divide this share in the ratio of 4 is to 5. So if you break 72,000 in the ratio of 4 is to 5 students how much do they get? It is uh, becomes 24,000 and this will become 30,000. We can take Geeta's share as 24,000 as she did not get anything from the salary. This means the 30,000 which Sita gets from the profit total share is 48,000. This means the difference of 18,000 is what she is getting as a salary. Right. So 18,000 becomes her share of salary. Right students? Moving on to the next question, you can see it's a very simple question. It just says 2 kilogram of sand for every 2 kilogram of gravel. That tells you the ratio happens to be 3 is to 1. You have a total of 200 kilogram students. So out of which sand? Sand is 3 fourth of the total. So you can take 200 into 3 by 4 of the same. So that ways your answer becomes how much? It becomes 150. Right? So this 150 becomes your answer. So moving on to the next question students. This one, this question you can practice of your own. You will have the answers pretty soon. Then it's a data set. Let's solve it here. It says the table gives the number of births, deaths and available doctors. The data is this. So this is the births per thousand per year deaths per thousand per year, number of doctors per thousand and the population in lakhs. Now students, the question is which city or cities has the highest death rate per available doctor? Now mind it, we have to answer for the highest death rate per available doctor. Let's have a look at the data. See, students in Mumbai, there are 120 deaths and there are 20 doctors. So what is the number of deaths per doctor here? it will be 6. Students then 80 deaths by 50 you can say this is something which is less than 2. 130 by 30 this is something which is less than 4. And finally it's 140, it's 70 by 50 again this is less than 2. As you have to answer for the maximum it happens for Mumbai which is given to be 6. Right students? So here we can see the answer for this question shall become Mumbai. So Mumbai will become our answer. Let's move to the next question. It's on the same data students. I think you can solve this question. Now here it's a very good question. Which of the following exponentials is the largest? It's the last to last year actual NMED question students. Just compare it. See firstly we can compare 5 raised to power 15, 6 raised to power 16 will be greater than this. 
base is higher power is higher similarly 7 raised to power 16 will be greater than 6 raised to power 16 so i can say within these three options the highest one is 7 raised to power 16 now students if you take 3 raised to power 34 this figure here can you write 3 raised to power 34 as 9 raised to power 17 so the logic that we thought earlier we can apply that here as well base is also higher and the power is also higher students now you only need to compare 9 raised to power 17 with 16 raised to power 12 this figure now students 16 raised to power 12 can you write it as 2 raised to power 4 raised to power 12 so you can write it as 2 raised to power 48 and further you can write it as 2 raised to power 3 raised to power 16 that ways it becomes having a final value of 8 raised to power 16 the students if i compare it with 9 raised to power 17 can i say bases are also higher and power is also higher so 9 raised to power 17 or 3 raised to power 34 becomes your answer. Right students? Let's move on to the next question. This one. It's a very simple question. One tank can fill in 5 hours. Other can drain in uh, 6 hours students. So 1 by 5, 1 by 6 taking the difference. It is 1 by 30. And your answer for the question becomes 30 hours. It's a damn simple question. It has appeared last to last year. Moving on students. This one. It's a wonderful question here. Uh, just try and understand 143 hard books, 100 hardbacks. No, 100 hardback students and 143 ebooks. Sorry for the same. No, 143 to 100 is given their ratio. Now, the company has sold 94,500 hardback copies. So, students, can you arrive at this? Now, let me tell you one more wonderful trick here. How will you do this? This will be 143 divided by 100 into 94500 so we can cancel two zero students here you just have a look that the unit digit of this answer will be 5 3 is the 15 it will end in 5 it will end in 5 there is no other option but this one Right students, so this option becomes our answer. So smartly, you can answer so many things like this and you can avoid such huge calculations in the actual paper also. This is the last year actual paper question students. Moving on, now let's have an overview of the reasoning section students here also. There were different variety of questions covered, different areas covered. It was again uh, more of a speed test and there were certain questions which were quite easy. There were certain difficult questions also. Overall, we can call the level to be medium to difficult. The major areas uh, on which the questions were based students, it was uh, syllogism, coding, decoding, series questions, both numerical as well as alphabets. Then there were some input output questions, some ways word based problems some rank based problems and some sets of analytical reasoning now let's solve a few questions of the reasoning as well now in this question if you try to recognize the pattern of coding students uh, just have a look here it is h o l m e s is coded as p i n m t f the students the concept done of the logic is very very simple the code for o is p and h is i that is plus one similarly the code of l is m and m is n again plus one e is f and s is t again plus one the students you want to uh, create the code for the word create the best thing about this is you need not make the whole code so can you say firstly if you reverse the letters as done earlier what shall become the code for r it will be s followed by d now student s and d are there in three options option number one three and five now then uh, just have a look at the next the code of a will be b and e will be f so students it has to be s d b f so we can see only one option remains as our answer which is first one so this first option becomes your answer 
Now moving on to the next question. This question is a very very simple principle students. There are 18. Uh, Kiran is 18 from the top and she is 23 from the bottom. In the normal circumstances you add 18 and 23. Their sum becomes 41 and you usually give this as the answer which is wrong. As students this particular student Kiran has been counted twice. So if you add two positions, one from the top and second from the bottom, the sum of their positions minus one becomes the total number of students. So it is 18 plus 23 minus one. So it becomes a total of 40. So there are 40 students in the class students, right? So this 40 becomes your answer. I think you should be clear. So many times a question on this concept are asked in reasoning sections. Moving on this one. Uh, Rahul's code is given SBIVM and you have to code Anmol in the same line. Students if you see carefully uh, Rahul SBIVM it is just the next letter has been taken for R it is S for A this is B. Similarly for Anmol you can create a code. It's a very simple question. You can solve it. Moving on students uh, it is it's a tough question. It's an actual NMAT question of the last year. 132, 182, 306, 552. Now students, uh, this series is hard to crack if you have not practiced. It's a little tough one, I told you. Now 132 is basically 11 square plus 11. 182 is 13 square plus 13. So you will see that 12 has been left in between. Now students, the next one is 306 which you can think of as this is 17 square plus 17. Now you may think there is a gap of 4 again. Then one number is missing and then it is 552. Students if you t 552 it is 23 square plus 23. So students if you have a look it is 11 square plus 11 then it is 13 square plus 13 then it is 17 square plus 17 then it is 23 square plus 23 and there is one term left in between. It is not about gaps students. It's mathematical out here. It is the prime numbers. 11 after that it is 13 after it is 17 and the next prime number is students. I think you all remember that it is 19 square plus 19. 19 square is how much? Yeah, it is 361 plus 19. The answer here happens to be 380. Right students? Moving on to the next question here. So this is slightly a different kind of coding. I'll just explain the question is not tough. So many times you try to correlate the letters that maybe the letter the code for this letter is this or some change little students. It's a very very simple coding done but sometimes we are not able to analyze. It is that all the letters which are appearing in this word have been arranged in the dictionary order. Ascending dictionary order C then D E all the letters appear afterwards in the dictionary. So similarly when you try to arrange chimpanzees in this we know it has to start with A and then it has to follow with C. So on that logic you can say answer is either 1 or 3 or 5. You can see students there is no G given as a letter but in second and fourth option the G is appearing there. So neither second is the answer nor fourth. So you can say the answer on this happens to be choice number one. This first option becomes our answer. Right students moving on to the next question. This one these are magical circles or magical boxes magical cubes you can call it students. It seems tough. It is again very very simple. You can start the point thinking that in the middle there is square of cube of 10 sorry. Now 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 is 10. The middle number is 10 cube. Then 2 plus 3 plus 2 plus 4 is 11. The middle number is 1331 1, 1, which is 11 cube. Now 3 plus 3 plus 2 plus 4 is 12. And how much is 12 cube? Now some of you might lack out here because you did not remember the cubes. Students you must remember cubes up to 20. 12 cube is 1728 which becomes your answer. Now moving on here to the last question of this. Now you have it's an AR set students. Uh, five students is, are to be selected from XYZ three boys and PQRST five girls with some conditions given. Let's read the question. The students as specified out there. Let me write there. XYZ are the boys. PQRST are the girls. 
we have to make a selection of five students as given there now boys and girls x is definitely selected he says x is one of the members and the one of the only two boys and z is not among them so which is other boy left student so other boy left will become y so this means the boys in the team will be two which will be x and y now students there were some conditions let's have a look t y r s q t t and y then it was r and s q and t r and s cannot be together and q and t cannot be together now we want to know students so how many possible teams we can create now x y are there as y is already there so students we can say we cannot take t here right now r and s they both cannot come together so we can only take one out of r and s the students t has already got rejected we know there are five girls t got rejected four left and out of r and s we can have only one this means the remaining two girls that is p and q will be definitely selected now the question was how many different teams are possible now students we know the rest members have already gone so we can have two teams in one team we can have r p and q as three girls in the other we can have s p and q as three girls so basically the set here becomes boys are fixed r x and y so the girls you can have as r p q as one possible team and s p and q as a other possibility right students so you can see if practice properly students the level of the questions is not very tough you can selectively attempt the questions what you want to attempt and you can really sail through the exam and the difficulty level quite comfortably right students now moving on uh, these are the answers for the eight questions and followed by these are the answers for the next seven questions that is a total of 15 questions with answers i explained a few and left a few for your own practice right student thank you so much happy learning i think you all do great in terms of uh, attempting your actual nmat paper thank you so much happy learning